Hey no family, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. I hope you all are doing well. Your girl's back with another video and for the step for today's video is going to be a requested recreation from one of my subscribers, Kanisha. Hey boo. Um, she wanted me to do a brown set and she sent me a lot of inspo and she told me she really liked the last two that she sent me which are from blingy little claws and one is from don um i think don marie nails i'm gonna put the sets on the screen so you all can see them beautiful work from them both and i love both of their work by the way they do beautiful work um and i've recreated sets from blingy little claws before but anyway yes um, majority of this set is pretty much going to be inspired from Bling Little Claw set, the first one. And we're only going to take the plaid nail from Dom Marie, um, set. That plaid nail is really cute. But anyway, without further ado, the products I'm going to be using are going to be Dynamic Nail Supplies, My Brown. I'm going to be using Nail House's Shooting Star. I was going to use that. You all are going to see I switched it out. But Nail House's Shooting Star. I'm going to be using Mia Secrets Cover Pink as well as their Clear Acrylic. I'm going to be using these three gels right here from Nail House. Their Fudge, Blanco, and Brown Sugar. I'm also going to be using this painting gel right here from Zule. Her Gold... Um, light gold and then i'm going to be using some blooming gel from mia secret and i'm going to be using well i was going to be using these snowflakes here i changed out a few things you all see that i will do along the way and then i'm also as always using nail houses size 16 kalinsky brush and i have on there three xl tapered square tips that was a mouthful um oh also i'm going to be using as always nail houses pro monomer um, and then I forgot, I'm going to be using this glitter right here from, um, Zule to light gold, or I was going to be using that. I have it here. Um, this light gold, light gold glitter from Zule, beautiful glitter. I ended up switching out that one and, um, Nail House's Shooting Star, not me tapping on the phone. Nail House's Shooting Star, um, to a different acrylic, but yeah, anyway. So getting into doing these nails, you all, I'm going to start off this, this set, first of all, <laughs> took me way longer than it should have but um bling little claws sets are always very intricate they're beautiful that set in particular has a whole lot of like different like well not a whole lot of but like different color blocking going on and uh acrylic fringes and marbles and this and that beautiful set so we're gonna be doing a lot today for the set but um, I'm going to start off first with just the nude, like doing all of the nude nails. You already know that I don't like to, I like to do my glitters last so that I don't get it mixed into the monomer and get it in the nude part and also like using the darker colors last so that it doesn't, um, you know, come off in the lighter colors or nudes, whatever. So I'm going to start with that. going to be doing a couple of acrylic fringes and yeah, I'm not going to ramble through this part here. I'm going to let you all go ahead and watch a bit of the acrylic application and then I will pop back in in a bit. Okay, when I say to you all that I'll pop back in in a bit, it's always when I have to explain something. So pretty much I want to explain this for people who have maybe not have heard me say it before. Anyone who's like struggling with acrylic fringes, I know I struggle in the beginning, but pretty much the way I do it is I start off with a smaller, like drier bead, like way drier bead than usual. Um, of course you want to wet enough to where you can move it, but you want to like dry enough and make sure that it's polymerized to where when you set it down, it barely moves like at all. It's so stiff to where you'll be able to mold that small little piece exactly how you want it to, well not exactly, but pretty much the, like the foundation, the start of it to how you want it to look. And then you want to build on top of that 
um, and just build and build all the way up into the cuticle area and just keep cleaning up the sides um, to your original shape that you have placed down as the foundation, if that makes sense. Um, so yeah. And the reason I say that too is because when I first started trying to do these acrylic Frenches, I used to try to do it all in like one bead, if that makes sense. Like I would not go in smaller sections like this here and work from the small line up, but from the cuticle down to the small line and trying to do the whole thing in like one or couple, a couple beads and like building from that. But it really helps to just, like I said, use a smaller, a really small dryer bead starting at where your small line is going to begin and like working your way up and building from there up into the cuticle area, if that makes sense. I hope that makes sense, y'all. All right, so that is how that is looking. And like I always tell you all, the good part about doing acrylic Frenches is that at this stage right here, it doesn't matter if that part isn't perfect because we're gonna go in and file it anyway. So don't like try to, you know, like be so hard on yourself or like stress yourself out if that is, that part doesn't look like exactly perfect because you can go in and file it like and look make it look, you know, way better than it does in the beginning. So yeah. As you all see, now I'm going to move on to this nail here, beginning the whole like color block thing. And um, I don't really use an X-Acto knife for this part. Like in the beginning, I did like use an X-Acto knife or an X-Acto knife for like color blocking or not really color blocking, but I guess yes, color blocking. I've tried it once like with a slanted nail. Does that make sense? Like a like slanted French nail a long, long, long time ago. Um, but I just pretty much use my brush to mold and, you know, create the line how I want it. And like the French, the U French or whatever, we're going to be going in and following this as well. So it doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be absolutely perfect. So um, one of the parts though that you do want to get correctly is making sure that you build it up at least a little thick enough to where when you go in and file, you'll be able to grip something. I'm guilty of in the beginning not building that part up thick enough. And when I go in and file, the file just slips and slips and slips because it has nothing to like catch on to. If that makes sense, because that part isn't built up thick enough or like, you know, it doesn't have to be super thick, but it has to have like a ledge for you to be able to file it. If that makes sense. So anyway. While I let those dry, I'm going to go ahead and move on to the pink nail and create this cushion design. Now, y'all, this nail gave me, like, <sighs> this nail was so stressful, but let me tell you why. So, as you can see here, well, first of all, I always forget that in my experience of using brown acrylics, they dry up pretty fast. So, as you can see, it dried up pretty fast for me, um, that first bead, but I just went ahead and built and built and built and built over it, which is why I pretty, skipped, pretty much skipped that whole part, you know, that whole progress or whatever and i redid this entire nail a total of three times but so as you all can see now i am creating the indents on the nail like the cushion part but as you can see it's not coming out like how i want it like not proper anyway the lines do doesn't like match up don't line up also the reason why i have that exacto knife in that um clear acrylic is so that when i go in and create the indents on the nail it doesn't like get stuck like it's not sticky but anyway like i said those lines like i wasn't happy with those lines the way they came out so i redid the nail um and y'all know i do pop off so i just pop the nail right off and we're gonna redo it so when something doesn't work out you can't do the same thing twice like you have to have a plan with doing it you know differently than the first time that you did it so pretty much i don't recommend going down the nail like all the way down like slanted 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 one side and doing doing the other side i recommend going left right left right left right left right all the way down the nail if that makes sense and a tip for whenever you're doing a cushion nail is that of course in order to make the indents you, the nail have to be some type of a wet steel like it has to still be um you know like it it can't be completely dry you have to be able to create the dents so pretty much i did this application super quick and because this brown acrylic is super fast drying like it's super fast drying so I have to go in and do this application pretty quick and and even if you do go slow like make sure that that last layer like you do an entire layer over the nail the whole nail lastly like again if that makes sense like so that that top layer is still wet or not wet you don't want it completely wet but you want it 
drying but just dry enough to where you're still able to create the indents if that makes sense so and then you're going to see me take the knife this time and go left and right left and right and line up the nails that way i highly don't recommend doing it the first way you all saw me do it because it's a little bit more difficult that way and the lines didn't come out like you all saw how i want it also second most important tip is that when you're doing a cushion nail, you have to make sure, of course, because you're not going to file this nail at all. So you have to make sure that the application is pretty smooth and built up to a thick enough, you know, to your liking. Because you're not going to end cap this. You're not going to... This is how I do it as well. I don't know how it's done by other people. This is just how I do it. And the way that I do it, you cannot... Like, the application has to be pretty smooth because you're not going to go in and file it, if that makes sense. Because we're going to create the indent on top. You can file the sides, but the top the surface is done for you can't file that so make sure that it's pretty pretty smooth and like almost perfect pretty much so um yes as y'all can see i'm going and now i'm creating the indents and this is what i'm talking about go left and right like creating an x pretty much um y'all this knife kept slipping out of here because you can exchange them like to different i have different knives that you can but anyway go left and right i feel like i'm just talking a lot but i'm trying to explain this to y'all do an x okay like do the left side the right side and do that down the entire nail instead of doing like the whole left side and like down the entire nail and then the right side down the entire nail because it can be it can easily like not match up like if that makes sense when you're done with this design you want it to be like you know down the middle it should be like diamonds that connect like and they're not you know overlapping or like looking weird so yeah now if you can do it that way then go ahead but i find this way more easier and effective so yeah also you don't have to press as hard as i did like i pretty press down hard into the nail with this knife um it depends on how deep you want the indents you don't have to press that hard i just was so focused on getting this right that i was just not even paying attention but it still came out pretty cute um and by the way you can do this design doing like a i've done it before like a little ice cream design as well and also by the way i did get this exacto knife from the dollar tree if you have one in your area and you're interested in where i got it from that's where i got it from and it changes out it has like maybe eight different knives that you can change it out to like different shapes or whatever but anyway <laughs> yeah so that's how that's looking you all and now i'm gonna go ahead while that is drying and or we're not gonna be like i said encapsulating that anyway but now i'm gonna go ahead and begin to file up these um this the start of this uh sorry i have a brain fart right now color black nail color black nail and then the french nail i'm gonna file those two and then i'm gonna keep building on that color black nail the thing about color black nails they take you know they can take a long time because you're putting a color unless you're like super good um the application and it's like completely straight but i'm a little bit of a perfectionist like i will do something as if y'all haven't told by now over and over and over and over again until I get it right and it looks like how I'm like I'm a hundred percent happy with it like if it's not I will redo it again and that's another reason why as well like <laughs> I just want to mention this too like if you're a beginner a beginner starting out like when I started out even now to this day when I try different designs that I haven't tried before I'm gonna sit there and do it over and over again I don't care if I have to redo the whole nail until I get it how I like it that's the only how that's only how you are gonna get better with doing anything you have to do it over and over and over and over again until you're satisfied but yeah but with color black nail, nails like I said you have to keep you know do one color file it do another color file it and just keep building and building this took me forever and I know I told you all that I did that pinky nail three times. And the reason why I did it a third time is because it's perfect right now the way it is. But for some reason, I tried to like apply a little, apply a little bit of matte top coat over it. And it didn't look right after I did that. So I had to do it all over again. So I don't recommend at all applying top coats to um, cushion nails unless it's like shiny. I don't recommend it. Just leave it the way it is or you're going to mess it up. Um, but you all are going to see that. But anyway, um... Yeah, so as y'all can see, I've moved on now to this ring finger nail now. And she has like a whole color blocking thing going on on her set or this nail on her set as well on this finger. Um, so I'm going to take that same brown and do like a little French, like a little French thing around the nude part and do the glitter and all of that. By the way, I forgot to, um, I totally forgot about that gold glitter that because if you look closely on her set she has like a gold glitter like underneath the nude part first like ombre with if that makes sense with the nude part and i totally forgot that and so it just had to be scrapped um but 
anyway we're gonna be doing everything else but i'm not gonna ramble anymore um i put out some gold hearts from delay like i said i was gonna use those snowflakes but i ended up switching them out to some gold hearts we're not really i'm y'all i'm not into winter nails anymore um i know i've been gone a bit and i've just been taking a break just a break um but yeah i'm not into the whole winter thing like winter nails anymore i want to move on i get bored if you haven't I don't want to ramble right now, but pretty much I get bored with seeing the same thing for a long time and, or just the same thing for a long time. And yeah, I'm done with like winter nails. Of course we're past Christmas already, but I was debating whether I wanted to do, keep doing Christmas nails or start with Valentine nails. And yeah, I'm just over that. So I just put out some hearts. Sorry, Kanisha, if you're, if you upset, girl, I'm sure, I'm sure you're not going to be, that I didn't use the snowflakes. Um... Because in her side, she had leaves, but I know you want me to do like a whole winter set. But I hope you're still happy with the little gold hearts that I'm going to include. But um, yeah, I'm going to shut up rambling now and let you all pretty much watch. Okay, y'all, so this is how we're looking so far. As you all can see, I did go ahead and switch out, like I was telling you all in the beginning, that acrylic from Nail House, The Shooting Star, for this acrylic, um, the Model 1's acrylic. I've had this forever and never used it, and I came across it late, um, recently when I was giving a bunch of my acrylics away. Um, I had this one in a pile, and then I looked at it, I'm like, hold on, this is pretty, really pretty, and I don't have one like this. So I did, I did keep it for myself. But anyway, anyways, um, that one I don't have because it's like a gold glitter, but it has like silver holographics in it. And I love that so much. The other one, Shooting Star from Nail House, is just like gold. It doesn't have like holographics in it. So I love this one. I went ahead and switched that out for this one. And also I'm going to be moving on to the marble part. Now, I didn't want to do marble with acrylic. I wanted to go for a different look. I wanted to go for like a gel marble look. And for that, I'm going to be using some blooming gel for me a secret and I'm gonna as you all can see I went ahead and put my gel colors on the palette and I mixed them up um but when you're doing this type of marble and if you're gonna be doing like um blooming gel marble you don't want to um mix that gel on the palette like a lot otherwise it will be like too mixed and it won't come out like it won't be giving marble like you don't want to mix it too much it just want to be mixed a little bit um because with the blooming gel the colors are going to spread and mix anyway and yeah, so I did redo this nail, like literally y'all, I redid this marble part like at least seven times because I wasn't like the way, well maybe like five or six, because I didn't like the way it had looked, like I wanted, I wanted it to look exactly the way I wanted it to look, so, but I didn't include that on the camera, you all are gonna see, um, this is how I wanted it to look, I wanted it to be more like brown, like more of the fudge color, like I love that so much, like that is perfect um and i have to do that a few times to get it exactly how i want it or i wasn't gonna be happy y'all i wasn't gonna be happy like 
redo something if you know you can do it better. That's if you know you can do it better. Now, sometimes I don't beat myself up about if I can't do something better. Like, if I know I gave it my all and I can't do any better than that, then okay. Um, and that's very rarely, and I'm trying to, like, brag or anything that I try something I've never done before or, you know, do something and I don't really like it. But when that does happen, I will do it over and over and over again until I do like it. So anyway, um, love the way that Marble came out. And I do highly recommend doing a marble like that if you're one like me who is not so good at marble and acrylics. Because your girl is not that good at marble and acrylics. Um, like alone without glitter, glitter and like the extra things in it. Um, but anyway, yeah, as y'all can see now, I am, I'm just working on this color black now because it takes a lot to do. If you're doing like a intricate one like this and it doesn't even seem that intricate but now you all see the behind the scenes of how something like that would be done so yeah i'm let you all watch and i'll pop back in in a bit Ooh, y'all going into this ombre that brown had me worried because it's really hard to ombre like dark colors like your dark browns blacks things like that if you know you know um that came out really 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 cute um at first i didn't do the brown far up enough so i had to kind of like you know fix that but yeah that's how that is looking really really cute love that um lingy little claws girl if you're watching hey first of all but your sets are beautiful they're always so intricate and it's like these are so intricate and it's taken me a long long time you're good girl you're good because i wouldn't like think of or like do like any of this like you're so good but anyway now on the thumbnail i'm gonna go in with a um i never seen her thumbnails i don't think she does a thumbnail on her practice hand but i just wanted to do a marble for the most part i like to tie in um i like to do my thumbnail like tied in with a ring fingernail so i'm gonna be doing like a whole marble look as well on this one i love this marble net love this marble look too i love like with the um the gel marbles and like using blooming gel or just in general using 
doing gel marbles, like, they never come out looking the same. Like, you're always going to get something different. It's never going to be the same, ever, ever, ever. And I love that so much. I love the way this whole marble look. I love gel marbles, period. Like, in general, I love them so much. Like, they're definitely a work of art. So I'm just doing an ombre one on this one here. I'm going to encap it, and then we're going to move on to, I believe, shaping and filing, yeah. Okay, so I did take a look at her photo, and she did have a thumbnail, but I couldn't see it. Um, Looks like it was brown, but yeah, like I said, I just did an ombre little thing on this one here. That's what I wanted to do in the beginning anyway. Um, I really wanted to do a, mar a marble on this one as well, so that's what I am doing. And these marbles give me, like, they give me, like, like ice cream like fudge ice cream or something like it gave me something that i want to eat like a drink or something like i love it and i should have left that thumb the marble the way it was in the like the first time like as you all saw the first time the clip before i came back i added a little bit more brown like just like sporadically and it's so cute but i love the way the first one looked but anyway yeah So here's how we're looking with the application complete. Thank the Lord. I'm having flashbacks doing this set and I did it like a week or so ago. Um, this was like the longest application I think I've ever done ever. But and here's how we're looking and I'm pretty happy with the way the application came out. It's pretty um, smooth and as you all, I don't know if you all noticed, but with that color black nail, the, um, what is it, the middle finger one, um, I made sure that I went ahead this time, because last time I forgot, but as I was doing it, um, shaping the sides as well as I shaped up, like, the free edge of it, because if you don't, um, it'll just, the nail will be way thicker than it needs to be, like, way wider, if that makes sense, wider, um, so yeah, make sure that you're shaping the sides up as well as you go along. So when you encapsulate, it don't look like crazy and it's way too wide, um, more wide than it has to be. So I'm going to go on and shape and file now. For those of you all that are new, I do have a full in-depth shaping tutorial on my channel um, to check out if you're interested. It is linked in the description below. I do have the makeup updated one of that one. That one's still pretty, pretty good, but I need to add like um, thug shape, moon shape, all of that to the shapes. Um... I have a whole lot of videos that I need to be making for you all, um, but just give you girls some time. So, like I said, with the cushion nail, as you all can see here, I am going to shape up the sides a little bit, but that's pretty much all I'm going to do to it. And I'm going to go in just barely um, still in the cuticle because I have to do this application like so perfect because when, you know, you're doing the cushion nail, you can't go and file the top of it. Um, I mean, I, I don't. I'm not going to file the top of it because if you file too much, you can take away from the indent, if that makes sense. So, yeah. Anyway, I am taking my 80-80 grit file. We're going to pretty much, you know, go through this quickly and then I'm going to move into um, the design part of it. Now, since we did a lot, you know, we're not going to do a whole lot for the design part. Well, on her set, she didn't have any bling really. I don't know if she had any at all, but I had to have some type of bling and I kind of went a little bit too far with the bling, but it still was like pretty cute to me. But yeah, we're going to get into that. Um, also, I cannot wait. I know I've been gone a little bit. I don't know when this video is going to go up, but either way, I've been gone a little bit. I'm um, just taking a break, and but I'm super excited for the videos that I have coming for you all soon. I've been doing a couple behind the scenes, but all while still taking a break, like not doing too much. You know what I'm saying? I currently have on a set that I cannot wait to show you all, a Valentine's set. Um that's what we're moving into now i'm done with the winter sets um that is so cute like i have so many ideas i always have so many ideas but can i execute them as far as like you know do i have enough time to execute them because sometimes i'll be having so many ideas for different like nails where um like i have so many nails nail ideas for christmas and i have so many ideas for winter nails that i didn't do like all of them it's like it's not enough time in the world like your girl be exhausted trying to do these sets and get them out but i love doing it and i enjoy doing it for you all you know what i'm saying so for the content for you all but anyway i'm excited to show you all the sets i've been working on been up to um and also i want to mention that um because it reminded me that nail house just dropped y'all for some of y'all have seen it already on my community tab post um but nail house just dropped 
one of three of their new V-Day collection, Valentine Glitter Collections, and y'all, acrylic collections, and y'all. Like, Nail House takes the cake with their acrylic, their glitter acrylics. Well, they take the cake with their acrylics in general, but they take the cake for real with their glitter acrylics, like their Valentine's and Christmas and just their glitter acrylics, period, y'all. Like, they're so good. Like, she is vanity. She is so good with her acrylics. So, she dropped one of three collections that she's going to be dropping, like, three Valentine collections. It's crazy. So, the first one that just came out is the Love Mail collection. Um, and it comes with, I think, eight different acrylics. I'm going to put them on the screen so you all can see. They're, um, they're up now. They've been up for a day, like, current day. Uh, I don't know when I'm posting this video, but, um, they are out and now available to, available to shop. I think the only one that is going out of stock currently is, um, Love Machine. That one has 10 left in stock, but y'all, when I post this video, when y'all hear this, y'all have to grab them. Like, they are all so beautiful. I'm waiting for my PR packages in the mail to come. Um, I think there's gonna be three different PR packages because there are gonna be three collections that she's dropping this year. Uh, I think, like, in this month or between this month and next one. Next month, crazy, right? Like, they're so beautiful. I've seen sneak peeks and everything, but I, I can't wait to show you all my PR packages of the glitter that she's gonna be dropping. And I can't wait to, you know, show you all the ones that she already dropped. And yeah, they're available down the shop though. <laughs> Link to Nail Houses will be in the description below. Don't forget to use my code Porsche for savings on y'all's orders. Um, also, current day, I don't know how what it will be like when you all see this video, but she has two um, collections in stock of the full collection of Love Mail, um, the Love Mail collection left in stock. And you know it's a discount when we get the whole collection um, opposed to buying an individual one. So yeah girl go grab it if you can go grab it y'all and she does take after pay for those of y'all who be asking about after pay and stuff like that so that's a, definitely a plus but yes y'all these glitters are absolutely beautiful and i can't wait to use them and i can't show you all y'all have to get your hands on them Alrighty, y'all so this is how we're looking with the shaping and filing complete super crisp and now i'm gonna go ahead and buff and file the nails not buff and file buff and clean the nails and all of that good stuff um, i am gonna be buffing a little bit that pinky nail as well i just don't suggest you file it not really because you'll be filing away if you file too much you'll file away the indents so i liked it perfect the way that it was and the only reason as well that i read it because you are gonna see that i like i said applied matte top coat and it didn't look right so i redid the whole entire nail and then for this middle fingernail, I did go ahead and apply a little bit of cuticle oils um, and then buffed it because with clear and darker colors, scratches when you're filing can show up. Like it can show up more than like the other colors, like a lot. Um, so just putting a little bit of cuticle oil and buffing that will kind of ensure that they are, or just for the most part, that they the scratches are pretty much gone for the most part. So yeah, I'm gonna clean the nails now and pretty much I'm gonna do that using just some alcohol um, and my brush and we're gonna move on into the bling. Okay, so I totally forgot about the, the index ring nail, the plaid part. Um, of course, I didn't forget while I was filming this. I'm talking about currently, I forgot. But yeah, we're going to get into the plaid part of this. Um, now, I think this plaid nail came out cute, but I could have done without it. I pretty, I should have done like the whole entire recreation of um, her set, like including the flower nail and everything. Um, but I really wanted to do that plaid design. It was really, really cute. Um, but of course, because we're doing different colors, it's going to look a little bit different and... I don't know, I, what I probably should have done, it was do like my own little plaid design instead of trying to like copy hers like um, exactly, if that makes sense, like do hers exact, do it exactly like that one. Hers came out really, really pretty, but I did it with different colors and yeah, I just didn't, it was cool, like it was all right, um, but we just stuck with it. Anyway, um, I'm going to be using, um, sorry y'all, first of all, the brush that I'm going to be using, as y'all can see, was wonky when I pulled off the lid of it. 
that happens when the hairs get caught in the lid when you're closing it. So pretty much all I do is just microwave some water in a cup for like a minute, 30 seconds to a minute, and I dip it in there and it's as good as new. But yeah, so for this plaid look, I'm going to be using those same colors that I did for um, like the marble nail, but I'm going to be adding this color right here from Illy Nail Supply. I forget the number of it, but if you all, y'all saw the number, I showed it on the screen, but I'm going to be doing like a, like I'm going to do like a light of this color for this plaid part. So I mixed it with a little bit of clear, like a, to get like a more translucent type of color for this look, but y'all are going to see how I create it. I'm not going to pretty much talk the way through, so yeah by the way this brush that i'm using my favorite liner brush is from nail house and it's their size 25 millimeter So this is not off topic, but not really, but it's kind of off topic. But something I was talking about earlier that I'm referring to is that I just thought, because I said earlier that this was probably like the longest application sets that I've done, like as far as application. And I think I'm going to like retract that and say that definitely the longest set of application is just everything, just in its, in its entirety, the whole entire set um, was that mermaid set that I had did. I don't know how many of y'all remember that set. If you did your real one but that mermaid said it took me forever and a day like i think i remember telling i'm sorry somebody just called my phone and that whole last clip just got cut but what i was saying was that mermaid said it took me forever and a day i think i remember telling you all that it took me like six hours or so it definitely took me six hours minimum to do that mermaid set it was crazy because there was so much detail they were super long and that was just crazy but they were totally worth it Alrighty, so this is how it's looking so far. I'm gonna go ahead and apply some matte top coat from Dynamic Nail Supply um, before I go ahead or go in with my finishing touches. I'm gonna be adding some of Zule's painting gel, hard gold painting gel to finish this nail off. Um, I like the nail, I think it's cute, but I think that the flower would have went way better with this entire set. I don't know, it kind of threw me off a little bit, but I wasn't gonna get rid of it. Like we've come this far already and it's just like, it's whatever now. Um, but yeah, the nail itself is cute. I just don't know if it went with the rest of the set the way I wanted it to. Like y'all may think it's like all right and everything, but I mean, whatever, okay? <laughs> anyway, so now we have the base of all of our nails pretty much complete now i'm just gonna go in with the bling and the caviar beads and all of that good stuff and i'm gonna be doing that using my mccart rhinestone glue i'm also gonna be adding um what is that brand dynamic nail supplies shiny top coat as well as the matte mixing the two up you know throughout the set and by the way this pink little palette that i'm putting gels on um is from she and i get that question a lot in the comments but I don't be knowing if y'all ever seen me respond to y'all. So yeah, it is from She and the palette. And if I find it, I'll link it for you all. But yes, um, I should have kept that middle nail shiny. That was really cute, that whole nail shiny. Um, here's where y'all are gonna see me apply this matte top coat. 
and I just was curious to see how it would turn out. I didn't think it would look the way that it did turn out. Yeah, if you're gonna be if you're going for a matte look with a with the um cushion nail, y'all sorry. If you're going for a matte look with the cushion nail, then just leave it the way it is. It's completely fine because the acrylic is already matte, if that makes sense. But if you're going for a shiny look, you can go ahead and put the top coat. But if you're going for a matte look, don't do that. It doesn't look right. And I'm going to compare the two once I redo this entire nail again um, and show you all to how it looks with the, the matte on it. It didn't look right. But yeah, so this was my third tip attempt at doing this nail y'all but anyway i'm gonna let y'all pretty much finish watching the entire thing and yeah i'll pop back in later I just wanted to come back to say that I'm so obsessed with that ring fingernail. Like, that's my favorite set. I mean, favorite nail out this entire set. And I can do an entire set like that ring fingernail. Like, that is absolutely beautiful. Bling little claws, you did your thing with that nail there because that's so beautiful. And I was kind of like, didn't know if I was going to be able to execute it, but... I kind of believed in myself a little bit, but it's my first time doing anything like that, like the double French line and all that. So I think it came out really, really cute.
Alrighty, y'all. So this is how they came out. I think they are so cute. Like, it's definitely something that I wouldn't do. I give all the props to Blingy Little Claws. Like, she did her thing with this set. Um, but this was a beautiful recreation. I love it so much. Um, looking at this, I should have done, like, a little... Like, you all see how I did the bling on the middle fingernail? How it's, like, at the top and the bottom of the the whole block with the clear and stuff in a brown. I'm thinking that it would have, like, I see the vision now that it would have been really cute if I did it in the shape of a heart. That would have been really cute. That would have ate. And if I would because, like... It's like we doing like Valentine vibes or whatever, but not so much for this set, but we're in Valentine vibes like right now. And we do have the little hearts in the center. That would have been really, really cute if I did the bling in the shape of a heart. That would have really ate y'all. Like I know it would have, but these are still really, really cute. My favorite nail is the ring finger nail. It's so cute. Like I would do literally a whole set that way. But also, by the way, if you were um, wondering, because I forgot to mention that the bling or the crystal colors that I used was Golden Shadow, Aurum, and Topaz for the bling, and then some gold caviar beads. But yes, if y'all enjoyed this video and love these nails as much as I do, don't forget to give your girl a thumbs up. Leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Maybe comment your favorite nail. I love these so much. They look, they're giving very much elegant. Like, I love them so much. But yes, maybe comment like some brown hearts or Subscribe something like that. Subscribe to my that. channel if you have not already and turn on those bell notifications so that I notify each and every single time that I post a new video. I cannot wait for all of the videos I have in store for y'all and sets, the Valentine sets and everything. I'm super excited. Don't forget as well about Nail House's um, new v-day glitter drop don't forget to check that out and yes thank you all so much for watching and i'll see you all in the next one which will be soon bye for now